If you have a Polaris 3900 Sport and you notice that it's running slow, the best thing that you can do is to buy the tune-up kit. And so purchasing this kit is probably the easiest and most affordable way to get your 3900 Sport running again. And so in this video I'm going to show you the installation instructions of the Polaris 3900 Sport tune-up kit. Okay, the next step is to remove the tail. There's a clip holding it on. You can use a screwdriver and just push it off. If it's really old, it may just snap on you. You're not going to reuse it anyway. Okay, have that off. You want to just pull the tail off now. It should come off pretty easily. Okay, have the tail off. Okay, go ahead and turn it over. On the bottom, there are three Phillips screws. I'm going to go ahead and get those off. Okay, got the screws off. Go ahead and turn it over to get the screws out. The bottom should come right off. Okay, now you're going to remove these three screws here, this one here, and then these two. Okay, now you want to grab this piece here. It's called the water management system. It comes with the rear housing attached to it. If you pull firmly, it should come off. Okay, now we're going to remove two more screws. There's one screw here that's deeply recessed, and then this screw right here on the back. I'm going to get that screw out. Okay, now the top housing should snap right off. Okay, the next step is to take off these hubcaps. We're going to take off these two wheels here. Okay, you'll see a little notch here in the hubcap. Just get the screwdriver and pop it in there. I'm going to get the other wheel too. There's a notch, comes off really easily. Okay, each wheel is held on by a Phillips screw. Go ahead and take that off. Okay, save these screws. One thing to note is that these two wheel screws are smaller in diameter than the other screws. You want to set these apart so you don't get them mixed up. These wheels might be a little tight. This Polaris is almost five years old. That one's on really tight. Okay, we're going to go ahead and use this tire that's on the single wheel. It's still good, you can just reuse it. Comes off really easily. Like I mentioned, this particular 3900 Sport is close to 5 years old. So it's definitely due for a tune-up. It was moving really slow in the pool. There's actually one last part we're going to reuse. is a hubcap from the old Polaris. From the single wheel. And we're going to put the hubcap on the tune-up kit wheel. And it's interesting that this part doesn't come with a tune-up kit. We'll have to take the bottom off the kit and we're going to put this part on the tune-up kit. So we're going to go ahead and remove these three screws on the bottom of the tune-up kit. Okay, that should come right off. We're going to go ahead and put the top cover on. Slide it over here like this. Then we're going to go ahead and put those two screws back in. You have one that's really deeply recessed, and you have the screw here. Okay, now we're going to align the water management system and the rear housing and put it back on. We're going to make sure that this o-ring is on here and intact. Let's go ahead and slide it in here. And then you want to align the back here underneath the top cover. Just make sure it's aligned on there nicely. And just push on this part with your palm to get it on there. Okay, so this is the correct alignment here. You can see that it's underneath the top cover. Okay, now you want to go ahead and put the new bottom on. Just want to make sure that it's lined up here on this side. Just make sure it's on tight. 
And it'd be a good idea to change the bearings and the wheels right now before you put them back on. So let me pop out the old bearing and put new ones on. Just get a screwdriver and you can pop it out to the back. It should pop out really easily. Okay, then I'll take the new bearing and just stick it in here. Again, it's really easy. And I have a new bearing here. You can see the bearing has a hexagon shape here. The shaft also has a hexagon. Go ahead and put the wheel back on the shaft. You have to move the bearing around until it slides over the hexagon shaft. Once it's on there, you push down firmly. This may take a little bit of spinning of the wheel, or the bearing inside the wheel to get it right on there. Okay, then you want to take the two skinnier screws, go ahead and screw them on. Okay, now you take the two hubcaps, replace them. Should snap right in. Okay, I'm gonna go and put the tire on the wheel here. If you need to, you can buy a new tires. This one here is still in pretty good shape. Okay, you may need a screwdriver to pull it over. Okay, the last thing we're going to do is put the tail back on. I have a new clip. Okay, push it on firmly. Then you want to take this clip here, put it right at the edge here, and you want to go ahead and close it. And I like to get a wrench also to close it a little tighter. Make sure it's on there firm. This will ensure that the clip's on there tight and the tail won't fall off. You want to go too tight because then you can break the clip. So the only other parts that I used were two bearings and one clip for the tail. And so with the tune-up kit, this cleaner is basically a brand new cleaner. So that's the installation of the tune-up kit for the Polaris 3900 Sport. Inyopools.com has been helping pool owners find the right pool parts in 2001. With over 50,000 pool parts in stock, order online today and have the parts delivered right to your door. Jobber is your business's command center. The easy to use app powers your sales, operations, and customer service all in one place. Check the description below to save 20% off your first six months.